Hey guys, it's Jimmy Swift here from the Minecraft Workbench community and ChimneySwift11.com. And uh, we're back today uh, once again for some Minecraft Beta 1.5 update testing. And what we're going to be doing today, we're over here in the redstone area and we're going to be messing with detector rails and booster rails. So this is going to be a lot of fun here. So, first thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to craft these bad boys. And uh, what we're going to do is you're going to go to your crafting bench and to craft a powered rail, you're going to need gold like this. You're going to need a stick and redstone. So that right there, guys, is the formula. And you get six powered rail. Now, um, to make the detector rail, you're going to need a stone pressure plate. You're going to need some iron. So you're going to put it like this, so you're going to do iron on the sides, stone pressure plate in the middle, and one piece of redstone at the bottom, and you get detector rail. Alright, so now what I'm going to want to do next is, um, and I've got like no wood right now, this is crazy. Alright, we're going to just make some more regular rail. And we're going to do some testing with this and just uh, see what these things can do. Alrighty. So what we're going to do here is we're going to just draw a straight track out like this. And this is going to be our track for this episode, probably. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to take a mine cart. And... As you guys know, if you place a minecart down, you can push it and ride in it and do all sorts of fun stuff with it. Well, now we have the ability to add powered rail. Now, powered rail cart, uh, powered rails are essentially redstone-powered booster rails. Okay, so what's going to happen is, um, well, right now this is not on. Um, if I were to push the cart over it because the because the rail is not activated it's not on and the cart is just going to stop on oh here we go come on the cart is just going to stop right on the track like this Boop, that's it just going to stop so what we need to do is we need to supply a power source so to do this we're going to place a redstone torch and then some redstone. And if you look at the, the track here, it lights up. See that? You know what? I'm going to go in here and sleep off the night here so you guys can see a little bit better. One sec. Hey, doggy. Hey there. Yes, I'm going to bed. All right. Back to redstone. Okay, so you've got the um, redstone torch, and bring the bring the power towards the track, and the track turns on. Now what's going to happen is, I think this should do it um, just by itself. There it goes. It just boosted it forward, um, and I believe it's multi-directional. So if you go this way, it's going to do the same backwards. Um, and if you're riding in it, it'll zip you ahead like that. Very cool. Very cool stuff. Um, I know the normal booster, uh, uh, the cart boosters work um, where the carts are next to each other and they boost each other along. Um, so I know those still work as well because uh, I've tested that out. Uh, but the nice thing about this is you have one power supply and it's going to feed through the entire track here. So let's see if we can get going a lot faster. Yep. Perfect. Very, very cool. So this makes getting up hills a lot easier. Um, and it makes uh, well, getting around a lot easier and a lot more time or uh, space efficient because you don't have to make these ginormous, um, ginormous boosters over here. 
Uh, the next thing we're going to test out here is the um, detector plate. I think that's what they're called, right? Detector rail, yeah. Now what these are is they're basically a rail with a pressure plate in it. Um, it's only detected with a cart, though. And what it does is it sends out a redstone signal when um, when a cart is on it. So if I push this cart just on it, as you can see, the cart was was on it here. And um, all right, here, let's try this instead. Just oh no 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 no, come here. Don't run away from me. So the cart is on it here, and um, this is activating redstone wire next to it, under it, um, wherever, in front of it, behind it. But basically, uh, what this is going to do is it's, uh, oh, excuse me. Like I said, it's early. Whew. Um, what, it's, what this is going to do is it's going to provide uh, you with the ability to change track direction, um, send out a uh, a redstone signal when someone's approaching on a track. Um, you know, you may have, um, let's, let's do a for instance here. You may have a track that looks like like this. Oops. Um, here, let's try something else actually. No, so I wanted to do that. There we go. Okay, so you may have a track that's got a um, a light on it like this, and uh, normally the light's on, but when a cart comes through and it rides through, it turns your light off for a second, um, and that way you know that there's activity on the track. Um, maybe you've got a spot on the track that uh, is faulty, and sometimes your cart gets stuck. Well, now you can place these detector rails there, and uh, when the cart has been placed and or stopped on the track on these detector rails, maybe your your rail system picks it up and the light goes off and says, "Hey, uh, something's wrong with your minecart system. You need to fix it." So these are just some of the things you can do. Um, personally, I love these rails. These are the coolest things ever. I mean, hey, look. Let's grab this thing. Watch this. You just get to boost along. It's perfect. Woo! Let's make a fun, let's make something fun. Cuz that's the nice thing about this is you can go uphill with these guys. So, let's find an uphill here. Come here. Let's do something fun real fast. Just grabbing the rail here. All right, watch this. Let's let's uh, let's just say we want to build a roller coaster, right? And uh, the beginning of the roller coaster requires us to go uphill. Well, let's see. Where do I want to do this at? All right, let's do it like right here. Well, uphill is no problem. Because we have powered rails. All right, so let's try this out. Actually, hold on. There we go. All right, so let's start here. I'm going to put the cart down and let's see how easy it is to get uphill. Oh, I forgot to power it. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, well, let's try this. Will this work? Nope. Hmm, this might be a little tricky. There we go. That'll work. Oh, gosh. All right, so the redstone torch here is powering this entire rail. I always forget to do that. You got to make sure you guys remember to power your rail. Woo! So there you go. 
that's how you get up the hill and down the hill I'm sure is the same way can you power power you going downhill yeah it does <laughs> that's pretty cool alright guys well this is it for my um, test episode for the powered rail and the detector rails which were both new in uh, the 1.5 update today and uh, I will go out now and try and find some weather um, maybe a storm or two and show you guys what that's all about as well so all right guys uh, hope you enjoyed this episode make sure you guys subscribe press that like button and leave a comment um, and I will talk to you guys later all right bye